I am Congressman Steve King, wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'm very happy that America is now saying Merry Christmas again. It's been too long. I traveled around this, uh, this megapolis of Washington, D.C. for a number of years, and for the last seven or eight or more years, I keep hearing Happy Holidays, which is nice, but now they're saying and initiating Merry Christmas. And I think about what makes it such a celebration. Of course, it's the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. A tremendous celebration because with him comes the promise of redemption. And what a glorious thing, the promise that, that was delivered on that day over 2,000 years ago that causes us to celebrate all around the world and to bring gifts as the wise men did and to celebrate the principles that Jesus brought to us. And so I'll be spending some time with my family and looking around at my wife, Marilyn, of uh, 40, uh, 46 years or so, <laughs> and uh, who's counting, right? Uh, but I can count the grandchildren seven grandchildren and then the sons, three sons and three wonderful daughters-in-law will all be together. And uh, I'll be loving those grandchildren as much as they'll let me, spending as much time with them as I can and uh, traveling around Iowa to help celebrate this season with some of you as it moves forward too. But we have a lot to be thankful for. There's a terrific gift uh, that's signed into law today as I speak and that is the tax bill that uh, was put together by the House and the Senate and the President and it does a number of tremendous things. Almost everybody in America gets a tax cut of some kind or another. And the corporate tax relief that's there has already sent out Christmas bonuses to thousands, in fact, hundreds of thousands of employees that have received a Christmas bonus that they wouldn't have otherwise. There's announcements of billions of dollars invested in infrastructure. There's, just, there's an economic stimulation that comes just with the, the promise that the bill uh, has as it's signed into law. So we're thankful about that. We will see economic growth. I think it's gonna go over 3% and stay there for maybe as long as a decade or longer. And thinking about what that does, that projects America outward and it creates more jobs internally. It raises wages and benefits. It gives families hope again. It gives many, many people a raise eventually. And not over that many months, just within a few months, there'll be many raises. In fact, even in days, there's already been raises that have been announced. So I'm happy about that. It's a great big Christmas present for all 320 million Americans as a tax cut. And what do I want for Christmas? Well, it's kind of hard because, uh, you know, I pretty much can find those things I want. But over this lifetime, I've accumulated most of the things, the uh, little, little toys that I want. And I don't really want very much that way anyway. My life it needs to be simple with surrounded by family and friends and, and a, chance to, a chance to move America in the right direction. So what I want for Christmas is, I want the promise that on March for Life Day, which will be January 19th here in Washington, D.C., when tens of thousands of pro-life activists get on buses and planes and drive and come here to this city uh, to rally around the effort to put an end to abortion in America, my heartbeat bill, which is um, why I wear this heart on my lapel every day, has 170 co-sponsors. It's an awesomely large number. It's poised to come through committee and to the floor and then for a vote. And my target, my goal is that on that day, January 19th, we bring up the heartbeat bill for a vote on the floor of the House of Representatives. Now I should tell you what the bill does and it's very simple. It does this, it recognizes the intrinsic and sacred value of all human life and it requires when an abortionist is planning on committing an abortion that he must first do an ultrasound to check for a heartbeat. And if a heartbeat can be detected, the baby is protected. It is that simple and it's clear. And that message that abortion stops a beating heart, we need a beating heart to stop abortion. That's my Christmas wish list delayed beyond December 25th to January 19th to pass that bill, the heartbeat bill, off of the floor of the House of Representatives and message it to the United States Senate. If we can get that done, we're one more step closer to saving tens of millions of innocent little babies' lives. So when we think of baby Jesus lying in the manger and we celebrate Christmas, let's think about all of those babies that never had a chance to lie in the manger. All of those babies that never had a chance to live, to love, to laugh, to learn, to raise their own families and to celebrate the Christmas that we'll all be celebrating 
on the 25th of December this year. That's my Christmas message. Let's revere and respect life. Let's work in that direction, serve the Lord every day with joy, and let's celebrate the reason for the season, which is the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you all. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. God bless you.